Welcome back to another Final Table Commentary. If at any point in time you find yourself not caring for the commentary, there'll be a link in the description down below to the video and BCP Poker Replay's YouTube account. So if you want to just check out the action in some peace and silence, the option's there for you. With that being said, let's get into the action. Alrighty, we got Paul in fall off 11 blind. Zickle off of 9. Pronounce his name wrong, that's for sure. Steak Addict off 25. Yao Ferrer, Ferrer off 21. Did I get that right? I was going to say you're missing the X's, but I... No, probably not. Yeah, we can just forget about the X's. PSM Ozak off 17 blinds. Aramisco off 10. Always folding 9-9 nine, nine with 26 blinds. That's a big stack. Looks to be the biggest. Right behind him is Scorpion with 26 bigs as well in the small blind. Alrighty. So let's get things started with some predictions, Deary. Who you who you thinking's gonna take this one down? 1K in the Turbo Series from 2020. That's what we're looking at. I'm going for Steak Addict. I think. You know what? Steak Addict is probably the best pick here. Got a nice sizable stack. 87 million chips. I just like how how forward he is. Like, yeah, I like steak. <laughs> Not only does he like steak, he's an addict. Probably not. That's probably an exaggeration. Has a king and a queen from early position. We'll see a raise from him. Paul Fall in the big blind with queen jack. Might come along to the flop. He's playing the short stack. He wouldn't mind preserving his chips. He's got a decision. Don't we all? Queen jack folds. Steak addict takes it down. 27 blinds in first place. As he should. Scorpion has aces, though. Doesn't look like he's going to get action. Yeah, 4-2. Four, four, Just kidding. Queen Jack goes for the open. Okay. 3 bet to 19. Almost 20 million chips. As Frank plays around with some posters in the background. Oh, nice. Posters are collateral. Queen Jack finds the fold, blinds go up, everybody gets a little bit shorter, and Frank makes a lot more noise. Mm -hmm. And I have a mosquito bite. Scratch, scratch, scratch. <laughs> Pescano with the ace and the three. I don't even know if I introduced it to this gentleman. <laughs> Takes the spot with seven blinds. Now they're up He's to about win ten. Just of that. Yeah, you know what, Pescano? Does sound like the the dude to take. Folds around the small blind. Steak Attic with 7-9 just rips it all in. Yao Ferrero is going to look for a better spot. King Queen for Pescano. This is good enough for him. 10 big blinds. He rips it all in and gets it through. Oh, another King Queen. But this time he's going to face an open from Scorpion. King Queen can find the fold. Aramesco, the ace and the jack in the big blind. Plays all in. He's going to need an ace. Or another jack. Nope. He's out of here. Bad bitch. Uh oh. <laughs> ace 10 for Paul Fall. How many Why? big blinds? Hmm? Why? Why is he all in? Yeah. Is he at eight big blinds? So. Mm -hmm. He's just all in. He's doing things. No, no, that's it's a good hand. Ace ten suited. Mediocre. No, look at this queen six suited or queen oh, six yeah, off suit. Oh yeah, that's questionable. No, it's a good play. Mm -hmm. He's got the big stack. Just looking to take it down pre flop. Zexel thinking about it with the ace and the three will find the fold, preserve their five big blinds. Always folding nine nine will rip in the ace and the nine. This will get through pre. Big thoughts happening. Lots of thoughts happening before we're folding there. Mm -hmm. Just to fold. Nine, ten suited for Scorpion and all those chips. It's only for about ten big blinds effective. Rips it all in. Eight, eight for Paul. Fall would be flipping. If he sticks it in Let's here. Get some action. Do something. It would be fun to see a call. Do something. 
do it. There he goes. He sticks it in. Queen Jack will find the fold. Any 9, 10, or 8? Nope. What a weird flop. <laughs> 7, 6, 2. I guess the whole thing, not just the first three. Preflop? No, all of them. All, all of them. the cards. All the cards. On the table that the dealer gave. <laughs> the flop, the river, the turn. <laughs> Pesco you know? takes the spot with Ace, or Jack Jack. Scorpion with an ace and a ten. Facing the all in, we'll find the fold, surely. Pesco up to 11 blinds. 55 million chips. He is going to make the comeback. Wow. Nine, nine for Zexel. We'll stick it all in. Stake Attic is going to be in a weird spot with the king and the queen. Probably going to call. Do we ever just jam? I don't know. He could do whatever he wants. He goes all in. He jammed. King, king, ten flop. Any nines? Nope. Zexel out in eighth place. Nothing they could do about that with nines and two big blinds. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is kind of cool over doing all these commentaries. You find uh, certain things that rhyme, and I go back to it. So blind and nine kind of rhymes, if you say yeah, it pro it's, properly. It's not like a... It's it's the type of rhyme, rhyme that like Taylor Swift would use in the song. Yeah. Because she can. Uh-oh. Always folding, 9-9 nine, nine with pocket 10s. Yao Fair is all in with deuces. Jack's all in. Deuce on the flop. No, we're going to lose Ozak. I like this picture. He was the only one with something interesting going on. Oh, and he didn't even do anything wrong. Just had a couple of jacks, and the jacks never hold. And that's the game. Scorpion thinking things through from the small blind with King Queen. Don't think calling makes sense. They're thinking about a 3-bet. They're playing too short to find the 3-bet, so they just fold and move along. Stake at it, getting some respect. Boop -a -doo -doo. Ace-9 suited for always folding, goes for the open. Pescano folding the king-9. Paul fall, follow suit. King-jack suited for Pescano. Is that his name? Pescano. No, Canco. Canco, there we go. I didn't even see that. I was like, I don't know how you could be saying it wrong. I'm then certainly saying it wrong. Closer. Jack, Jack, we'll see if it holds up. I don't well, think no. this gets all in. There's a curse. Let's just get the fold, right? Take it down pre. Pescano up to 87 million chips. Steak Attic has a pretty hand. Ace Queen suited for Steak Attic. Might see an open from the King Jack. Scorpion deep in the tank. Oops. Ooh. Scorpion finds the open. Stake Attic does just call with the Ace Queen. We see an Ace King 5 flop. Fascinating. Shouldn't be too interesting. Scorpion will start things off with a check. Oh, he's going to lead? Hope to get called by a flush draw, maybe queen, jack, jack, ten. See eight of clubs on the turn. Surely scorpion slows down. Are we looking at the same board? Ace, king, five. Two hearts. 56 million chips in the middle. Maybe you're not looking at the same board. Maybe he has multiple games going. Yeah, maybe he's looking at another board. Seems like, oh my lord, and he's all in? This is a bluff. Okay. He's trying to get ace queen to fold here. He's putting ace ten, ace jack in his spot. I think he's making him sweat, and then he's gonna... He's gonna call? Yeah. This is such a strong play, though. This is a big bluff, all in on the turn. Sixty-three million to call. I wouldn't be surprised if Stake Attic folds here. No, he does find the call. Good news, no king or jack, and just like that, we lose another body. Yeah. Scorpion overplaying the second pair there. I mean, no, he isn't overplaying it. He turned it into a bluff. 
That's not overplaying it. You put ace queen in such a tough spot. Now he's just power hungry going all in because he controls the table. Yep, that's exactly what Stake Attic is doing. And ace jack suited is thinking about folding. Hopefully for Yao we can stick it in here. Oh no, he lays it down. Hard to f flick it in there with 15 big blinds. You cover the remaining uh, three players other than Stake Attic. Another queen jack, stake attic will rip it in and get it through. King jack suited for Yao. Just laying it down pre flop. Oh no, stake attic is going to run this thing over. Your prediction's probably right. My A7 suited? Right. Oh yeah. Sorry, I got distracted by Taylor Swift. A7 suited will rip it all in. Yao. Of course my, with a strong my prediction's hand. right. I can tell the future. You did predict this one right. Steak Attic is... Uh, oh, Yao calls it off with the king-queen. He's going to need a king-queen 10. No, we get a 9. Paul Fall gets the double up. Oh. He's That's coming. another strong pick. Paul Fall. Steak Attic with king 10 will rip it in and get it through. What was Taylor Swift up to? Um, nothing really. There was just... Oh no, he needs a king 6-3 or 8? Not a king, sorry, not a king. Not sorry. a king. Not a king. Um, Taylor Nation just posted a video of her in the recording studio. And I was like, is this an Easter egg for something? Oh no, Taylor Swift got us distracted. Paul Fall making three of a kind. Just like that, we lose Yao in fifth. I don't think it's so sure for Stake Addict anymore. No, it's not locked up anymore, that's for sure. You should have known there's still like 10 minutes left in the video. <laughs> we should have known. I guess you didn't know I just spoiled that for you. I don't think How'd you know? I can see it on the recording. <laughs> what can you see? At the bottom it says how long it's been recording for. But how does... Oh, okay. So you're just doing math. Anyways. <laughs> Paul Fall with the Jacks. Oh, and I saw how long the video was. Yeah. <laughs> That's the math. That's the math. You need both numbers for the equation. Otherwise, that's a very... That's like a really hard math exam. No, that one's simple. Well, if they don't give you all the variables. <laughs> it's a little hard. Discussing. <laughs> King six... Oh, oh, facing the all in. Gonna have to let it go, and then he gets jack, jack for always folding. Don't think you're facing all in this time. No action. Pescano down to seven blinds, 50 million chips pretty well. Did kind of want to see him run this up. That'd be cool, but he's going to need a stronger holding than 10-6. Just going to have to fold the big blind. Mm -hmm. No action for 10-jack probably. Paul Fall with the 8 and the 5 in the big blind. Oh, he does find the call. King Jack, 9 flop. Goes check, check. 6 on the turn. So Paul Fall actually picks up an out to the 7. We get a deuce of spades. Paul Fall takes a stab and always folding snaps him off there. Uh oh. Pescano takes the spot with queen six, ace king nine flop. Ten on the turn gives him some outs to the jack, but they don't come. Stake Attic knocks out Pescano in fourth. We got a three way. Three way battle, and oh boy. <laughs> Alrighty. Did that not click in right away? Not right away, nope. <laughs> but um. Three way battle between Stake Attic off 27 blinds. It's a call from the 5-6, and it flops a straight. Sorry, he had 27, as in he raised for two. Oh. He is only playing 22 effective. What does it matter? He checks back the flop. Overbet on the turn. Doesn't have any outs, so he has to fold the king nine. 3-3 three, three jams, gets it through. Then always folding gets a walk with the eights. 
this shit's gonna happen quick. We're gonna see a lot of folding. Paul fall with 10-5 might limp. 4-4 four, four, might go for the raise. All in dealer. Paul Fall will surely fold 10-5. He's deep in the tank though. This would be a ridiculous call. Ace 10 for Paul Fall. Goes for the min raise. Queen 8 calls. He's a good board. Queen 7-4. Paul Fall bets about two blinds, gets a quick call from top pair. Five on the turn, no help for Paul Fall, so he checks back. Nine on the river. Goes check, check, always folding, scoops a nice pot there. Check, check, like duck, duck, goose. Yep. <laughs> check, check, just like duck, duck, goose. <laughs> <laughs> just like duck, duck, goose. It's exactly like it. I appreciate you entertaining that. Uh, that's so silly. I know. It's funny. So silly. Uh, <laughs> I left you speechless. Yeah, I don't even know how to come that back one. from that. I should have saved goose. it for the end. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. Stick had a glimpse into King Jack. He faces us an all in. Hopefully, mm. he just folds. This is a huge raise. Surely we can fold. Fold. I don't know if you will. It's going to be a lot of small pocket pairs, if we're being honest. Oh. Steak Attic does find the fold. Good stuff. It could even be some, like, random ace highs. So you're not even always getting it in good there with King Jack. And imagine some of the stuff that dominates you, or that you're dominating, such as like King Five suited or that sort of bullshit, would go for the smaller raise preflop. So once you face the all in, you can just fold. 10 10 jams another time. Another one for always folding. A6 will rip. Paul Fall has to fold again. Jack 10 all in. Stake Attic folds King 10. Bad news bears. 5 5 for Paul Fall. Rips mm -hmm. and takes it down pre. They're zooming. Yeah, this is gonna go swift. Like Taylor. Just like Taylor. Swift AF boy. 7-7 seven, seven, all in. Paul Fall folds the queen jack. You don't get that joke. But if no, any, not at all. If any Swifties are listening. There's not a single it. Swiftie. You don't know the crossover. Other than yourself. You don't know the crossover. <laughs> I was shocked that okay, Dustin is you know a what? Swiftie. So. You know what I should say? Yeah, I shouldn't, or I shouldn't say anything. Especially <clears throat> these days. I mean, so for the Swifties, that was a nice niche inside joke. I'm gonna guess not, but no. we'll move along. Eight four gonna have to fold. Stake attic down to fifteen blinds. Might limp it in. This picture sloshing so aggressively. He's deep in the tank. The drunk tank? No, no, just the time bank. Oh. Did you say bank or tank? At the first, first tank. Okay. Deep in the tank. What is that? Whoa, Fortune? whoa, whoa, whoa! What? His bar just went to so <laughs> Oh yeah, they probably just sped it up. Like, meow. Jack, Jack for Paul, fall all in. Gets it through. Ace king for steak Ooh. addict and always folding as the ace ten. He's not folding this time. Nope. Sweat the ten. Gets a good turn with the four. Good shit for steak addict. He's back in first place. That's what we like to see. Queen three just lets it go, giving always folding another chance to rip it in. Queen six going for the raise. Stake attic with seven four. Another one he might just let go. Wait for a better spot. Sixes is a fair spot. Jams it all in. King four all in gets it through. King four suited. For always folding, going for the min raise. Stake Attic with a playable 10-8 does come along to the flop. 
Ace nine three two hearts for always folding. Mm. Three in a row for stake addict, but he's just gonna have to let it go. Mm -hmm. Paul fall with the king six suited. Gets called by ace four. Ten nine nine flop. That's not good for Paul. He's got no flush draw. Backdoor straight draw to the queen jack or seven eight. Instead we get seven ace. It could go either way. Now, yeah, it's heads up. Pretty well tied. Top pair for stake addict. Good news. Good start. Three or two on the river, sorry. It's no help for always folding. He calls it off with the ace high. Nice pot going stake addict's way. He's dominated here. Ace high board. Looks like a good one to bet. Four on the turn. He picks up a straight draw to the five. Uh oh, he's bombing away. The pair of jacks calls. Hopefully he just gives up here. He got nothing. No, he's got the what? straight blocker. Goes for the big bet. Hopefully he can get... Oh, and the jack nine goes all in. What's this all about? Is it is it for value somehow? Trying to get called by a four? Is it a bluff? Just ripping it. Um, Would have expected a call or fold in that situation most often, but... That's why it kind of feels like he's turning his pair of jacks into a bluff. Who the hell knows? Who the hell knows? Yeah. Who the hell knows? <laughs> Anyways, we move along. Five, five, four flop goes check, check. Oh, no, a six on the river. That'll give always folding the best of it. He'll scoop 91 million chips. Uh-oh. Ace eight versus Queens. Queens jam. Ace eight snaps it off. He's gonna need an ace. No ace. No. Second place for stake addict. Always folding gets the W what in the one K main event. What can you do? Cry. When you live in a shoe and you get ace eight. Seventeen, eighteen blinds or so. Nothing you can do about it. If you just stopped it, nothing you could do. It almost would have been like a poem. Oh. 